Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is way 47th Street and... K-pop. Yeah, we are doing a, a dual com with my lovely, beautiful, attractive girlfriend. And because yesterday we covered my most awkward high school stories, I figure that Kelly should tell a, a more recent awkward story to start off this commentary. Alright, yeah, this one is <laughs> so bad, so... We're moving soon, and Alex was on the, or white boy, <laughs> whoa, he was on the phone with the internet company, and he came in my room to ask me a question, but I didn't know he was actually on the phone. Like, you were, like, hiding the phone from me. The phone was, like, at my side. All right, you okay, could see yeah. the screen. Yeah, but I was turned away from you. You, like, came up behind me. I was looking at my computer, so I was just going to answer, you know, without looking at you. And you asked when, when the Kate or like the internet guy could come over to install it, and I was like, whenever I can fuck the cable guy. <laughs> and I was, I was obviously joking. And but, I had, I had the most shocked face. I was like, oh, Kelly, this is on the phone. Yeah, I turned around. And I saw the phone there, and I was just like, oh my god, what did I do? And then I had to walk away. And I think the lady heard you a little bit because she was a little awkward. On the phone. But yeah, guys, I, I think we're going to do like a, a, a weekly series uh, with Kelly. So comment down below what uh, we should cover. But we also, I, I guess we could do awkward moments uh, for this first episode. I have another one. Okay. You remember when we were getting our mattress delivered? Yeah, kind of. All right. So I was like, uh, I was naked but with a towel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that they were delivering the mattress that day. But I didn't know exactly when they were coming over. And I was going to the laundry room to get clothes. And so whatever, I was like flipping my towel around. I didn't really, you know, have it on too much. I was just like drying off as I went. And at the front door, the mattress guy was there waiting to, wow. just getting ready to ring the bell. And we totally had this awkward moment where wow. we looked at each other and I ran away. You just want to do everyone. I'm going to watch <laughs> you like when the plumber comes over or something. I, I got to watch you. I don't mean gonna it. your pipes. No. <laughs> so another awkward moment was when... So the veterinarian. The vet, the vet. More recently, yes. Okay, so I'm I'm holding down the cat. We 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 got Nam, the new kitty, as you guys know, and we had, we were taking her to get her, you know, shots for rabies and her Herpes, her for the cat, cats. Cat aids. Cat aids and leukemia and stuff like that. So the the vet asked me to hold down the cat, and they were gonna put a thermometer. Up the butt, and in the next room there was a dog going through like minor surgery or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like, oh, no, no, it was like, like it some, was not like It was that. a weird moan, and as soon as the <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the thermometer goes in the cat's butt, you see her eyes open up, and I'm holding her down, and I'm looking right at her eyes, and then the dog's like, oh. And, and I can't stop laughing. And it's not, it's awkward because I laugh for like 10 minutes afterwards and I can't, I can't put it together. I, I just keep on laughing and laughing and yeah, laughing. Yeah, like the, the vet <laughs> assistant was just like, it got so awkward after that because you were laughing when the cat got penetrated in the butt. And then I, I was like trying to have an excuse for you and I was like, oh, you know, yeah, it's funny because the dog's making those noises it so is, that she didn't think you were some kind of like freak or weirdo yeah but it wasn't funny that that funny that i should laugh for like seven minutes <laughs> i afterwards. know it was so awkward <laughs> what's another one we oh yeah uh walmart oh walmart so we're, we're we're checking out at this walmart we bought a few things i don't know food and stuff and this lady at, at checkout randomly asked us what if Christmas was tomorrow? It was such a mindfuck question. And then Alex, of course, you always leave the small talk to me. <laughs> like, you don't respond. You just let me respond. Or there's, like, this really awkward silence. Look, I, 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 okay, I'm respectful to people. I always ask people how they're doing, and they always ask me. Maybe that's the problem, because I ask them how they're doing, 
And then they think that, like, I, I don't know, the small talk that I... It, I this happens all the time. You, you start off with, hey, how are you doing? I'm super friendly guy. And then these people start talking and talking about random shit. And then I'm left to have to talk to them. And I'm, like, socially awkward, so I, I hate it. And it's, oh, my God. But, yeah, I'm like, oh, that would be horrible if if Christmas was tomorrow. And it was in summer. It was, like, just out of nowhere. What if, I don't know, I would be really bad at keeping time? I was in a coma? Did I wake up from a coma if Christmas is tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> like, if you want to completely <laughs> mind fuck someone, just ask, what if Christmas was tomorrow? I like I didn't know what to talk about. I was like, yeah, that would be rough because people are struggling this year. Lots of unemployment. Like I didn't know what she wanted me to talk about. It'd be hectic at Walmart and all the stores. Like like Christmas, surprise Christmas. Oh my God, surprise like Christmas. Black Friday times oh, a million. It'd be yeah, crazy. it would be the worst. There isn't the, the there, roads. Oh my God, traffic. There's another one where somebody asked me a question and it wasn't like a yes or no question, but I said yes and I like <laughs> bowed my, my head because I didn't hear him and then it was just like, Ugh. Yeah, I forgot what she asked, but I heard what she said and then I heard you say yes and I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is so awkward. I do it all the time. So guys, uh, let us know what you want to know, uh, what you guys want us to cover. I want to do co-op with K-pop. I think that's a, a, a wonderful title. But uh, comment down below what you want to uh, have us cover. Also, check out Kelly's channel. I'll put a big pink annotation on the screen, top right-hand corner. We do white boy versus K-pop every it's porn. week. We, yeah, we it's do. It's not porn. Yeah, <laughs> we do porno Tuesdays on her channel. No, we don't do porno Tuesdays. <laughs> don't go looking for porno Tuesdays because you won't find it. No, but I have a lot of fun doing that. Like we did Wipeout and a trivia game, and I'm owning you most of the time. So I th those are fun. Go check out her, her video. Subscribe over there. I'm sure to give this video a like if you do that kind of stuff. And be sure to check out the two videos linked on the screen wait right wait now. we made it i think we made a deal on live stream me and your subscribers like made this outrageous deal it was like if you get one billion likes we show ourselves naked or something stupid we show your tits i mean oh uh, two billion likes are me naked, <laughs> <'cause I'm a laughs> that's that's an awkward thing actually just i know we're ending but really quick you know what's awkward is that a lot of my subscribers always want to know how big your junk is. Tune in next week. No, no. Um, I'm. I don't know. We're not gonna discuss that. Some things we gotta keep personal. And when the sex tape eventually comes out, then you can see. It's like a pea pod. What? <laughs> wow. I'm joking. It's <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk um. pea pod, baby. <laughs> and there's another awkward moment to end the video. All right, guys. See you later.